because they make two kinds of peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter and creamy peanut butter. Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is uh, vloggity vlog time. Vloggity blog, vloggity vlog. I don't know what we call this is the thing. I don't know. I don't know this stuff. All right, let's go. Domination of value. Very important thing. As I've said many, many times, color gets all the credit. Value does all the work. Value is more important than color. Value, value, value. Say it along with me. Value, value, value. value. Thank you, boys and girls. Okay. Also known as NOTAN, the mysterious NOTAN. NOTAN just means what's going on in black and white. So we have cones and rods in our eyes. So cones see in color, rods see in, uh, in black and white. And if I have those backwards, I'm sorry, I'm not an eyeballologist. What is it they call them? An ophthalmologist, eyeball dude. Uh, so NOTAN is the black and white. I know we see in color, but we have three times as many black and, black and white receptors in our eyes as we do color receptors. We see in black and white far long before we ever see in color. How do I know this? And why do I know that this is going on? Because the Kraft peanut butter industry has figured this out long ago. And how did they figure that out? Because they make two kinds of peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter and creamy peanut butter. And why did they make the labels different colors and so that they showed up in the dark? Because some people sneak downstairs to make peanut butter sandwiches at two in the morning when they're on a diet and not allowed to. And if they get caught, they're in big trouble. So you never get the crunchy kind because it's loud and you might get busted. So you get the smooth kind, which has a lighter value in color on the label and not a dark one. And they know this, so they're gonna sell more peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know why I know this, but I do, but I eat a lot of peanut butter sandwiches. Anyways, no tan. Light and dark. The eye sees in light and dark. That's why we had black and white photos. That's why we had black and white TV before we've ever had color. Get your value right and I don't care what color you paint something. All right, so let's go back to NOTAN. NOTAN. Here's a little tip for you. iPhone app. Android probably has it too. I don't have an Android, but it's called Notanizer. You can go on the Notanizer app and you can put your photo in there and turn it into black and white and it will show you the patterning that goes on, which is what I'm about to show you here. And it has three sections. It has a section for two Notan, three Notan, and four Notan. Four Notan's too confusing for me. I use three, two is good, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by two and three. So let's go to the board, okay? Oh, let's go back before we do that. Oh, let's go to, we'll go to two first, then we'll go, we'll go to the board for two, then we'll go to this board, then we'll go back. I don't know, we're just doing a whole vlogging vlog thing. Okay. Here's no tan two, black and white. So when I say domination of value, what I'm saying is you must have a dominant value in your painting, meaning one value supersedes all the other values. This way the eyeball looks at it, the brain receives it and says, hey, I totally know, understand what I'm looking at. So no tan, two no tan, which is just black and white. Here's an example. Number one, no tan, large amount of black, small amount of white. Everybody gets that, right? Thank you. Okay, opposite end, large amount of white, small amount of black. Everybody gets that. Dominant light painting, dominant dark painting. All right, we got that? So what I do, I do a three, uh, um, what I do is I do a three value no tan in my paintings. So I pick a size, large, medium, small, and then I pick a value, light, mid-tone and dark. So you have three sizes and three values to choose from. They each must be different and dramatically different. If they become the same, so they become a third, 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 then your painting ends up on snoozy lane and boring avenue. You want to keep these separate so that you get a dynamic painting, so it pops for you. Okay, three no tan. This was two no tan. I'm going to three no tan. Here's three no tan. Three no tan is, look at this, small amount of dark, a large amount of mid-tone, and a medium amount of light. I have three values, three distinct sizes. Here's, a, here's one again, another one, different. Large amount of dark, medium amount of mid-tone, small amount of light. Two totally different things. I got two, two ways I could paint a painting. I got different ways to do it. Let's try some more. Here's some more. So anyone want to guess what this is? Oh, I do, I do. This is a large amount of mid-tone, a medium amount of light, and a very small amount of dark. Well, that's an interesting composition right there. All right, what's this one? Wow, holy hunkin' large amount of dark. Here's a very uh, a medium amount of light and a very small amount of mid-tone. So there's basically a whole bunch of numbers of ways that you can do this. 
Let me go and now show you on the computer a few examples of some photos and show you what's going on when you turn them to black and white. And then I'll show you a painting or two that also goes when I take the color away. I'll show you that the artist has used no tan to get his black and white and value subjects domination of value right in the painting before he hits the color. Here is a picture from Oregon, this little barn in Oregon. So this is the color photo. This is the snap that I took with my camera. This is what pops up on my computer. And so you can see here lots of orange, lots of green. Well, it's lovely and I like the barn and, and, and everything, but let's check, let's check the no tan on this or, or the, the value, the dominance of value in here. So if we go to black and white, part of the reason that I like this photo is boom, here we go. So we have a large amount of mid-tone all the way through here. Just about everything's mid-tone. We have a medium amount of dark, just a little bit of dark here and a few spots over here. And then the lights on the roof, very small amount of light. So we have three distinctive sizes, three distinctive values. All we got to do is put color to them. That is just, that's, a, that's a, what I call a, a painting in a box. It's easy to do. That's a gimme right there. All right, painting. So this is a simple mountain painting. Let's have a look at what's going on no tan wise or, or, or in the dominance of value. So if we bring this up dark here, oh, we can make this a little bigger. Look at that. There we go. All right. So again, large amount of uh, mid-tone. Okay. We have a medium amount of light this time. Instead of a small amount of light, we have a medium amount of light all through this mountain and a very small amount of dark with these trees in the corner. The darks and the trees in the corner here, that's going to give us our foreground, middle ground, background. We have light, medium, dark. So we've got three things. We got uh, two elements right now going on that are going to set up our composition for this painting. Oh yeah, okay, here, this is a Mark Bogus painting. So here's a nice little barn, couple of booby little barns over there, some trees in the background, whole bunch of snow, lovely, lovely painting. Let's check the value and see. If he knows what he's doing, or do we not like Mark Bogus today? And Bogus, 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 I don't know how to say his last name, killer painter. Oh my God, look at the values, he's right, he wins today. So, large amount of light in this painting. So there's a very dramatic amount of light in this painting. There is a medium amount of mid-tone in this painting. And if you look, very small amount of dark. Few darks here, maybe here couple in the trees here a little bit of dark on this side dark here dark here dark here but there's a small amount of dark that's setting off all that light look at the massive amount of light 70 percent light and this is really you could split this almost into two values and say this is 70 percent light and 30 and uh, 30 percent dark so here's a tibor nagy painting tibor nagy king of the palette knife so here's a lovely little sort of rustic old churchy wispy wintry building going on uh, that's what it looks like in color. So let's have a look at it in black and white. Here we go in black and white. What's he got going on here? Well, he has a large amount of mid-tone, a medium amount of dark, and a very, very small amount of light. Look at this, just a little bit of light there, a little bit of light there, a little bit of light leading you up into here, right? Most of this is all sort of mid-tone. This is mid-tone, the snow is mid-tone, just a, and then a medium amount of dark in there. That's killer no tan, all right? I hope that describes a little bit better for you how no tan or how dominance of value is working for you. Say it with me. Value, value, value. Black and white value. Value is the most important. Thank you for tuning in. Well, we're gonna see number four real soon. So pay attention, folks. It's all coming up.